Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to another featured house tour. Now this house was actually submitted by fellow Simmer Simonius, I hope I said that right, um, and I'm going to go ahead and read the description first and then we'll get right into the tour. Okay, so this house is supposed to be Franklin Clinton's house from Grand Theft Auto V. It is a rundown single family home built just after the war and it has a surprisingly large basement. I wonder if we're gonna find any secrets in that surprisingly large basement. Um, it is built on a 25 by 30 lot and that's, that's about all I know. So let's go ahead and get right into it and see what we find. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna notice a little fairy running around. This is my fairy, uh, Bella Dust, and I just did a house tour on her fairy home, so you can check that out. I will put the description in the link below. Um, we're gonna just start off by going around the outside of the home, and it's so far it looks really cool. I like the landscaping. I love the, the little modern fencing that goes around it. I actually don't play Grand Theft Auto, so I'm not really sure. Not really sure what it's supposed to look like, but maybe you guys will know. And, oh, I forgot to mention the download link will, of course, be in the description as always. So, um, it looks very realistic. I don't see a lot of people who remember to put things on top of the roof, like either air conditioning units, I believe. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they are. And it's zooming in really slowly, but yeah, it just, it makes the house look definitely more realistic. And then, I don't know if this is going to work. Someone told me if you hit shift while you move the camera, it goes faster. No, not working for me. Is it? No. <laughs> We're going to have to deal with just that slow moving camera as we go to the back of the house. Um, so it says it's supposed to be run down. Maybe it's more run down inside, but so far outside it's pretty cool. Um, there's kind of like this little deck here with no railing, which isn't really safe. And a staircase that goes down into the backyard. The landscaping looks fine, um, although we have some bushes clipping into the fence here, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, this is the garage. And again, just like the little electrical panels out around the back make it really interesting and look more realistic. Um, I guess we can, I guess we can go inside here and see what we find. Oh my God. I don't even know if you heard that, but it is lightning and thundering here. And that was really loud. And I have no idea if you heard that or not. Um, <laughs> that was scary. Very scary. All right. So let's go ahead and check out this little garage here or not little, it's a good size garage. And of course, if you're building a GTA house, you need some awesome cars, right? <laughs> so it looks like we have uh, the Empire Eldalon. Uh, it's dark in here. I should probably turn the lights on. <laughs> I always forget to do that. Whoa, much better, much better. Okay, so I love this orange sports car. Uh, we have some of the little tools and things from Fast Lane, I believe, the Fast Lane stuff pack. Pretty sure that's what they came from. Um, and, uh oh. What's this? Is this an elevator that goes downstairs to the basement? I don't know. I don't know if we should check that part out first or if we should tour the house and then see what what mysteries we find. Uh, let's do that. We'll tour the house first. And then, sorry, I need to get back up a level here. Oops, don't want you to see inside yet. Ah, ah, camera, do what I tell you. <laughs> All right, so we'll start off with the front door. All right, so again, the landscaping and the flowers and everything out here are really cute. I'm so curious to see what this inside looks like. So as soon as we come in, nice hallway. Wow, it's nice to come into a home in camera mode and not like be greeted by a wall or a door or just like a random staircase. Um, so it's nice to have like this whole shot of the hallway. Um, over on the side, we have a, a little console table, I guess, sort of storage area with some CDs and a lamp. Um, all these mystery doors, some beautiful blue rugs that go down, and, oh, cool, whoa, wait, hold on. <gasps> the power flickered on and off, my screen went black, I don't know if the screen recording went black too. Okay, I'm gonna, whew. I'm on battery backup, so we should be okay. Um, but anyways, the, the entryway has like a different little tile right here, so I almost missed that. Um, let's, oh man, my camera's already starting to distort. Um, someone said if I zoom in and zoom out, that should fix it, and no, it did not. All right, well, 
well then camera let's just go back here and see what this kitchen probably a kitchen i would imagine because there's some trash receptacles out here yep 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 there is a kitchen and these are my favorite counters i always say they kind of look shabby chic but they're they're really nice did i read the description right they said it was a rundown home but this is some pretty nice home i must say i must say um <laughs> some beautiful little kitchen decorations we have a microwave food processor nice fridge um nice dining area like i wouldn't say that this is a spectacular amazing modern home or anything like that it looks very cozy i don't see anything wrong with it so yeah well uh i'm not gonna call it rundown even though that's what the description said but we have a bookshelf and a painting over here and these double doors which i guess um would have come in from the hallway and then ooh, oh i forgot i always forget about this little object with the the records on top uh, right on top of the stereo that looks awesome i think that's also from the fast lane stuff if i'm not mistaken and then when we go into this living room we go through this archway this is actually a nice house oh my gosh i don't like wood paneling i never like wood paneling but it's really not that bad um beautiful tv there's another stereo in here and a fireplace oh my gosh i love fireplaces and pools in the sims probably two of my favorite uh Two of my favorite building objects, structure thingies. Um, <laughs> and oh, zoom in, zoom out. There's some posters on the wall there and a couch. All right, so let's go through this first mystery door because we didn't technically go through a door yet. We just kind of went through some archways. Uh, and maybe it's a bedroom, maybe it's the bathroom, and it's a bedroom. And uh, I probably forgot the lights in here too. Or maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to look like this. It's kind of, uh, yeah, it's like a greenish blue light. That's actually pretty neat. Um, I have seen, I have seen people play GTA before, so I guess this looks like it fits in. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but the lights are definitely awesome. Just a bed and a dresser. Um, I like the colors, like the, the greens and the blues, of course. There's another dresser over here, uh, another TV, so you can watch TV in the living room or in your bedroom, which, uh, I have both at my house. There is the shelving unit there as well. Yeah, I, I have a TV in my living room, but I never watch TV out there. I always watch it in my bedroom. <laughs> so I do like to put bedrooms in most Sims homes that I build as well. And what does the store take us to? A bathroom. Cool. It's a it's a nice little pink and turquoise -y, minty green bathroom. Uh, again, I don't know if it's supposed to look like it's old fashioned, but um, I think in like maybe the 50s and 60s, they used a lot of these colors in their build. So maybe this house could use a little bit of a remodel, but I personally like it. I even like the the brick on the shower. I guess that's supposed to look like brick. I don't know. It's pretty neat. Nothing wrong with that bathroom at all. <laughs> down this door, down this door, in this door, maybe another bedroom. Let's see what we come across. And it is another bedroom. Cool. And my camera mode's working great, I must say. Yay, yay camera mode working good. Um, this is a very cool bed, very traditional with uh, some nice, fun, geometric sheets uh, or a comforter i suppose and i like the lamps that he's used in this home as well good job good job um there is a dresser and a little desk no computer but there is a desk where you can just add a laptop computer or just do some writing um these are the double doors that went to that dining room that i showed you so actually oh my gosh this looks this looks like like a friend's house um an old friend of mine he had the living room right here the kitchen right here i mean the dining room here the kitchen here and the living room here it was set up just just like this but i don't know actually it looks a lot like it i don't know if he had a fireplace or not but this dining area reminds me of where we used to sit and play cards we would drink and play drinking games and play card games and we could fit a lot of people on that little table um <laughs> that just reminded me of that whoa oh back down the hallway all right are there any other well there's that door which probably goes outside and then that's what's this oh this is like a, a little hallway there is a bike um maybe it's just like some storage and stuff through here some random things not sure there's those final records again and then this door leads to the outside okay i assume this door goes outside too but i yeah i'm pretty sure it does let's check let's check and see if this takes us to the backyard and it does okay so i i didn't see any stairs or an elevator in here um unless what's this mystery door kind of weird and random does this take us to a staircase no is it a pantry supposed to be it's supposed to be a pantry ah i can't talk well anyways let's do let's do an aerial shot i don't know maybe that's just supposed to be a pantry or something um 
or maybe if he modeled this after after the house from the game that, that was just there i don't know but we'll do a floor plan i am assuming the only way to get to the basement is through that garage so we'll probably have to probably have to go back through there so i also don't see a staircase at all which means no second story nope no second story all right so <laughs> i'll do kind of a side view so we came in through the front door there's the two bedrooms with the shared bath the living room the kitchen and the big beautiful dining room and all right well you guys know what time it is right it's time to take that mystery elevator and go down to this amazingly large basement and see what's in store for us i hope we don't die down here Ta -da! that was us taking the elevator <laughs> all right so right away there is um a mystery door here which we'll we'll check out in a minute uh there is a whoop 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 bar a bar that's a bar yeah for a second that looked like a bell like at a hotel but no it's just a bar and a food processor i think or a drink maker nice kitchen nice little kitchen down here there's a football you can play football in the basement um <laughs> what what okay well there's a little table with chairs there this is what i'm wanting um oh hot tub <laughs> well you can see the game room too so game room and hot tub that's kind of cool it's like in the basement but it's still fenced off as if it would be outside and this is my favorite hot tub you guys probably know that by now the one with the the little bamboo shoots i think that's what they're supposed to be and the, the little rocks just looks very serene and calm and i love hot tubs in real life more than anything like i love pools but i would rather have a hot tub and if i can't have a hot tub then i want like a jetted bathtub um boo game room <laughs> i love game rooms too so this is shuffleboard i think um foosball there's some cool arcade games here this one is that freezer bunny yeah freezer bunny i don't know what these other two are Ooh, pinball <laughs> that looks fun and a nice large wall mounted screen flat screen tv um another radio oh my god there's a pool in the basement too what this is neat there's a dartboard over here um what i didn't know you could did I know you could build pools and basements? That's kind of neat. I love it. Oh my gosh. This looks so fun. I would totally live here. <laughs> um, I don't even know what to say. Otherwise, uh, other than this is awesome. And then where did this door go to? What's this little thingy over here? Oh, it's just a little half bath. A little half bath next to the elevator. So this is really cool. There wasn't anything like weird. I don't know what I was expecting to find down here. It's just an awesome, awesome basement pool, hot tub, game room, bar. What else do you need in an awesome basement, right? <laughs> um, I usually do my favorite shot of the home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was trippy. Um, I like this entire basement. So sorry, moving in and out too much. I can't get quite the right fit on the screen, but you can see it. There, my favorite part of the home is the basement. So what, what do I say now? Um, <laughs> sorry. Thank you so much for watching. Simonius, I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you so much for submitting this home. I do have another home of his to tour as well, so that will be, of course, the next video. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss my next video. And if you want me to tour your house or your build or your restaurant or anything that you've done in Sims 3 or Sims 4 or even meet your family, that might be a cool idea if you have a, a really cool Sims family with a house that you want me to introduce the family, introduce the home. That might be fun as well. Or, of course, I love to do collabs. If you want to do any sort of collab with me, hit me up. You can find me on any of the social medias under Simmerkey, Twitter, MySpace, MySpace. Whoa, where did that come from? Not MySpace. I'm not on MySpace. Dang, I'm old. Um, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, right? That's what the cool kids nowadays do, Snapchat and Instagram. I haven't actually used my Snapchat yet, but I have one. So find me on there if you like. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, um, YouTube, Google Plus, you can find me here, of course or email me at the simmerkey at gmail.com if all else fails. And that's it. I don't know why I can't do my outro. Like I do this all the time and I'm just like totally going blank. But anyways, yeah, that's, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>